Nice entertainment purposes only. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. I really appreciate it. So here we are, the next Friday. AMC's guess what? Back to 450. Exactly what I said. It hit 451. I was a penny off. Uh, I'm really glad it bounced. I don't want AMC to go lower. People don't understand that. I don't own any, but I don't want it to go lower. I want it to go higher because I own Ape. And when Ape converts, I want to get the most value possible. So anybody who thinks I'm short AMC, you're stupid. It's just, it's dumb. There's no reason to short at this point or even buy puts anymore. I bought puts when it was at $7 and went down to 450, we made money, right? People keep coming out and accusing me of shorting AMC. I have never ever been short a single share of AMC in my entire life, not one. Never shorted it. I bought puts and I've been long. Anyways. So Ape, cruising around $1.85, $1.88, really good zone. It's on a five month uptrend, higher highs and higher lows. It's absolutely amazing, except for the little after hours hiccup we had, which doesn't really count in charting because it was a manipulated event off the judge's decision. But we're coming right into the price targets that I set almost a year ago, which was 450 and 250, 260 for AMC and Ape, right? Ape has a gap fill at 250 on the daily chart. So it's really, really, really common uh, for gaps to fill. I think it's like 88 to 90% of the time they fill. Uh, this is especially this one to the upside on this type of corporate action. So um, I would love to see in the end, I would love to see Judge Zern come out this Friday or next Friday. I think she should drop the opinion during market hours so that retail has a better opportunity to trade the play instead of just giving the full advantage to um, big institutions after hours, because that's that's what happened. But I hope she drops her opinion in the next couple weeks. I hope it's okay, AMC has, uh, AMC and Allegheny have filed the consolidated report. They've met all our criteria. We don't like it, but we're gonna go ahead and improve the settlement. Everybody will get cashed out. Then we'll come into earnings. Adam Aaron will announce when the conversion's gonna happen, most likely sooner rather than later. They could literally do it the next day. I know Begums is out there talking about 10 days this and 10 days that, but he also talked about phase six, seven, eight. I, the guy has no idea what he's talking about. The people following him are gonna lose money. Anybody following anybody that is crying AMC squeeze to the moon with the conversion on the table is gonna lose money. And I'm tired of it at this point. I'm tired of people delaying the corporate action, harassing the court, harassing me. It's just, it's all stupid. So anyways, we're coming up on it. Hopefully today, Judge Zern comes out and says, hey, I'm gonna go ahead and make my decision, file the opinion, and uh, we're gonna move into um, getting this thing done, letting Adam Aaron and the board of directors take control back over the company. I'm sure there'll be other lawsuits filed. There'll be a ton of people crying. As soon as it is, a, as soon as it is accepted, there's gonna be a ton of people crying. And I notice, I notice my YouTube is getting attacked by uh, other YouTubers and their friends lately because my lives won't seem to break 25 anymore. Usually I'm pushing 50 to 100. So I know YouTube is starting to kind of uh, shadow ban me again. So if I go off air again, you know, just understand that it was YouTube taking me down because I'm getting mass reported once again by every other YouTuber because they always hate what I'm saying, but they always come back and end up agreeing with me later on. All the big YouTubers always come in and steal my content and then they come back later on and go, oh yeah, well, we said it was gonna do this. Well, no, you didn't, I did. So anyways, 450, getting close to two bucks on Ape. Uh, hopefully the news drops. Today after hours would be so nice if Judge Zern would just let this thing move along. Um, I know she's doing her job, you know, all the barracks lawyers and the pro se guys and all these people that keep trying to tell Judge Zern what's going on. I just have one word for you. You know, it's all men who's trying to tell a female judge what they think they know. And right now the judge is like, she's, she's degreed, she's learned, she's a judge, she's passed the bar. Guys, she knows what she's doing. She knows what's going on with AMC. She's probably held counsel with people that are way smarter than you, constantly going in and telling Judge Zern what's going to happen and what you think is happening and what you think you know. At this point, I imagine she's sitting there like, oh my God, this freaking AMC movement's full of male chauvinistic know-it-alls, right? Just look, man, 
If you want to file a lawsuit because you took losses because you held on to a stock after $70, uh, thinking that it was going to go to 100,000, you have no right to any legal action whatsoever. Everybody who is going to judge Zern has tweeted or made videos at some point in time talking about AMC going to $100,000 or more. You have no legal recourse. You were holding because you thought the stock was going to go to a certain a certain price and it didn't. That's called just being a bag holder. Anyways, you know, do what you guys got to do. I don't care. I'm tired of the delays though. This non-stop constant amc squeeze legal bs that's going into the court is causing delays on the conversion and it is costing people money and at this point if it goes on past august i am going to go hire a lawyer to start filing um claims against these people who are purposely intentionally delaying the court because they think amc is going to squeeze if they stop this settlement even though ape conversion was voted on almost unanimously as a pass and anybody who says no man it was just antera and all these institutions voted and blah 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 retail investors did not show up to vote because there's millions of people out there who own 10 100 a thousand shares that don't care what's going on with amc anymore they don't care they have shares in their account and they're at their nine to five job and they do not get a vote they don't vote they don't get their proxy that's why ape was created because adam aaron knew he couldn't get a quorum to sell amc common stock again to vote to pass more amc common stock so if you can't get a quorum the vote doesn't pass you fall flat and then you get shorted to death like we did that's what happened now could he have raised money with t0 yes obviously somebody with a lot of money and a lot of power who's in control of adam aaron went out and said hey you do not do the t0 thing I believe allegedly somebody came and slapped him on the wrist and told him, no, no, you're not going to do it. And that's when he told Mark to stand down, which was the most foolish decision he could have possibly made in the history of finance. Because if we would have went with T0, AMC would have easily went to $300 a share. Easily. And Adam Aaron, Adam Aaron could have raised as much cash as he wanted. And that would have happened two years ago. So the same people who are now against the ape conversion are the same people who were against T0. Some of them, most of them, are still against DRS. Uh, that was another funny thing. Every time we did DRS, the price ran. It just That's how it worked. And you had the same people who come out and always cause trouble, always cause delays, always cause downward price action with their little movements, are doing it again with eight. And it's just ridiculous at this point. So anyways, uh, I think... And I'm hoping today after hours, we get the opinion from Judge Zern. We'll see very volatile stock price movement again. Remember, the bonds are callable today. There's, there's, or I think there's just one, but it's a big one. There's one bond today that is callable and it is yielding 37%. So there is going to be some type of volatility upcoming in this event. Adam Aaron wants the decision before or at the beginning of August because he knows he has to raise capital to get this bond paid off as quick as possible. The last thing we want is this to draw out to the end of August. We go through a major cash burn and they short AMC down to a buck 90. You want ape converted as soon as possible, even if you hold AMC. And I, I'll tell you exactly why. If the conversion is delayed further, they're simply going to drop the price of ape. They're going to let AMC run again to five or six bucks and then they're going to short it again. They're going to continuously cover, reshort, cover, reshort until the thing is down to a buck 90 and everybody in the community is going, oh my God, we lost everything. AMC's a buck 90. You don't want that. We want this to pass as soon as possible. Judge Zern gave everybody months and months and months to flip into some ape position. Even if you still want to hold AMC, I don't care. I'm not holding any, but you could have flipped into an ape position. And you could have basically hedged yourself against this arbitrage play that's happening in the market, right? You could have easily bought some AMC puts, bought some ape long and held your AMC long. You could have hedged properly. And if the stock price went up, 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 and it looked good and the conversion passes, you dump your puts and you go into the long run and then boom, there you go, you cash out and you won. You go green on the play. Anybody thinking we're going to $100,000, anybody thinking we're going to $1,000 at this point in time, you guys are you're drinking the hopium Kool-Aid being sold by car salesmen and barracks lawyers. And just be very careful because I'm telling you right now, 
my maximum dream hope like if i could wish upon a star and it went to this price would be say like 175 to 200 dollars which i talked about a long time ago and funny enough goldman sachs came out and they did a price target of a high of 175. now when the conversion happens right okay conversions ago pff, it just pops off the chart amc drops say down to 354 bucks whatever uh, you're gonna start seeing short covering sometime before or after conversion. There's no reason to hold AMC shorts below $5 through conversion because you're gonna get squeezed out. The, just the corporate action alone, the conversion of stock, the QCIP change, the reverse split, those types of action cause major volatility in stocks. We've seen it a hundred times. COSM, COSM is a perfect example. Um, now, shortly after those stocks dump, but we have one advantage here is that we're converting preferred stock. It's not just ape units. 100 ape units equals one AMC preferred stock that's held by computer share. So when the ape units have to come back, they have to be counted. We have to make sure that there's the exact number of ape units required to fulfill the exact number of AMC preferred shares, which I think is like 9.5 million. So if all these people come back to the table and say there's, I don't know, 43 million ape units that shouldn't exist that they come back to the table with then there's a problem so not only are we getting a reconciled share count through computer share on the ape units being converted first counted back into the uh, preferred stock but then being converted into amc stock it's all got to get distributed properly so post conversion when you see ftds go into the hundreds of millions right say now amc has 50 million FTDs or let's say 10 million FTDs out of nowhere because of the conversion, there's going to be a big problem. The stock's probably gonna get halted on a run up. Everybody's gonna know that shorts are trapped. Whoever didn't work with Adam Aaron is now trapped in the play. And I think that's what all these delays are is they had a lot of people come back to the table after the sale of Ape through City Global and said, hey man, we messed up, you guys are right. Let's, let's clean all these total return swaps up which is why Antera has been flipping, you know, trades back and forth for the past year. Uh, you've seen the filings, AMC puts one up every week. So anyways, that's what we're coming into. You know, my hope is AMC 450, Ape 260. Ape usually keeps a 260 gap. We convert, we open up at 35, $40 a share. Hopefully the market prices it in right because now the market has an initiative you know, to price it in right so that big money gets to cash out properly and Adam Aaron can pay off the bondholders. In that, we're gonna see major volatility. We're, this corporate event's gonna be huge. It's never been done before. Algos are gonna be tripping left and right and there's gonna be halts through the, there's gonna be endless halts. So get ready for it. Be prepared to set your exit. You know, if you've been playing this for two and a half years and suddenly when this happens, you're up green two, 300%. Quit digging holes in my yard. Little oh, shit. Dogs are out of control. Two, three hundred percent. You know, don't leave the play bag holding. If you're up five to ten grand and you've never had that money before, at least take half of it and go make another play. There's better plays out there. There's great stocks on the table that you know people are talking about for free. Cohode's been talking about Inovix and Overstock forever. And look at they've done nothing but go on an absolute tear for the past three to four months. So you guys do what you got to do. I hope everybody makes money. I hope AMC goes through the roof, but I know it's not. I really wish it would, but I know it's not because even if I don't own any, I own Ape. And if AMC goes up, Ape is going to go with it through the conversion. It's going to be worth more money. I'm going to win either way. So you guys all have a great weekend, a great Friday. If I still or if I get any more news over the weekend and I'm gonna pay attention this time after hours, I'm gonna pay attention. I'm not gonna be drinking at the bar. I'm not missing a dip like that again in case Judge Zern comes out and says, hey, we need one more thing, it's delayed. Say Ape drops 30%, 40%, I'm gonna buy up a bunch more. So um, if anything comes out though, I'll try to jump back on and fill you guys in. Let me take some comments real quick. I haven't done that in a while. So what's up, Richard? Joe Vila, hey, what's up, man? Let's get paid. Jay, I got that 511 shirt, dude, Jay. These 511 shirts are the only t-shirts I wear. I got like 10 of them, man. They're expensive, but they're a year warranty. The necks don't shrink and they feel good and they're awesome. I'm so glad that you mentioned that. These 511 shirts are the bomb. 
Ryan, people are not against the conversion or dilution. It's the reverse split that retail don't want. Yeah, I get that. But if it doesn't reverse split, we're not going to see any price action. You got to give incentive for shorts to cover. The reverse split's going to do that because they know Adam Aaron's going to raise cash. If they don't reverse split it, Adam Aaron's not going to be able to raise cash. He's going to be trying to raise cash at like $3. That's not going to work. Retail for two years has screamed at Adam Aaron, we want to pay off the debt. Well, guess what? He came in and he's going to take your money and pay off the debt. You're going to get exactly what we asked for. Uh, I am a fan of the reverse split personally. Peter, yeah, I want dilution up to my eyeballs. You know, whatever. Ryan Johnson, if they can't keep volume down on AMC, it's a wrap. Message retracted. Young Macho, I haven't seen you in a while, Macho. It's a double squeeze if they don't convert. Mm, no. Nah. If they don't convert, it's not going to squeeze at all, man. If they don't convert, AMC will probably run seven to nine bucks and then they will short it back down to a buck 80 because AMC will literally be bankrupt by March of 2024. You know, everybody's like, where's the proof of bankruptcy? It's in the balance sheet, you guys. The cash burn is insane. The deferred rent still on the table, the interest that, the, that they're paying on the debt. We have a writer strike and yeah, we just had two really great movies hit the theater. I don't see anything on the table coming up in the future. I don't see nothing anytime soon. We could have an absolutely horrible Q4. Thank you, man. NASDAQ need 10 days before reverse split. That means 8.1. No, NASDAQ does not need 10 days. The NASDAQ does not need 10 days. You guys keep listening to Bigums, and he's always wrong. AMC has already filed. One, it's not NASDAQ. It's NYSE. Uh, they don't trade on NASDAQ. They trade on the NYSE. AMC has already filed over 12 months ago their plans for conversion, reverse split, and QSIP change. That is sitting approved at the NYSE right now. All they need is the status quo order lifted from the judge and chancery so they can go ahead and do it. They could do it the next day, just like that. They've already filed all the paperwork for it. Richard, I want action. Ryan, market crash before AMC goes bankrupt. I hope so. I, I totally agree, man. Um, that, that's even worse, though. If the market crashes, that means AMC is going to like under a dollar. Uh, it's going to be bad. Shorts will win 100% if the market crashes before AMC goes bankrupt. They'll double win because not only is their shorts going to fly in the money, but then the bonds are going to absolutely be the ones to get paid. And common stockholders, let me, let me explain this. If AMC goes bankrupt, common stockholders will get nothing. Your shares will be worth zero. You'll get no compensation whatsoever. It'll be just like a General Motors thing back in 2008, 2009. You'll get absolutely no money. So, um, ape units will get paid out not much but you'll still have value if something horrible happens and amc goes bankrupt and you hold ape units you will get paid out because they represent preferred stock bondholders and preferred shares get paid out during bankruptcies before anything else so i think we get a weekend fomo last weekend if say friday after hours the settlement gets approved after hours today actually i'm sorry today you will see ape FOMO from institutional heavy buying and then people trying to flip their AMC positions. A couple of our friends who watch the YouTube channel and are on my Twitter, they sold at eight bucks and then bought ape at like 67, 70 cents last week. And I just wanna say congratulations to you. Not only did you just make the trade of the year, literally you just made the, cause you just, you, you made 40, 50% on AMC and then you made 60, 70% on ape immediately after, congratulations. I'm, I'm extremely happy for you. So, but yeah, we could see FOMO if the decision is a yes. I'm not gonna say what it's gonna be. I personally think it already should have been yes. I think the judge is just dotting the I's and crossing the T's, making sure that everybody knows what's gonna happen, that she's done all the proper procedures. Um, she was very smart to note that ape shareholders were going to get uh, part of the settlement, even though they weren't represented. I think that was a brilliant thing to put the brakes on real quick. The media tried to spin it and we all saw what happened. People chased AMC up to eight bucks and they got burned. We're back at 450 and Ape came back up to $1.88. Unfortunately, a couple of my friends were watching after hours and they did panic sell and they got hosed. What's that here? And, um, I'll tell you this, if I would have been more apt to watching my phone after hours that day, I might have panic sold too. So I'm glad I was just sitting at the bar having a beer, man. You know, some people say that the best investors in life 
are ones who forget that they bought stock or they die holding stock and they end up the most. So uh, shorts need to cover. Yes, shorts. Yeah, it is garbage day today. <laughs> yep, it's, it's crazy. I always miss garbage day. Um, shorts do need to cover. And like I said, there is no point in shorts holding AMC legacy common stock when we hit three and we, you know they covered the other day, we went up to eight, they covered, 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 then they shorted it back down and bought ape on the cheap. So every time we have these type of events, it's just helping shorts unwind further. We don't want that anymore. We don't want no more delays. We want this thing to convert fast, furious, volatile, algos trip in, shorts that didn't get in and they thought they were gonna walk away from this clean. This will cause shorts to cover. The conversion will cause shorts to cover. I made a video about this a year and a half ago and it got 18,000 views and nothing's changed. Uh, would a run up squeeze happen before or after dilution? So, I mean, there's multiple scenarios. With Judge Zern going, yeah, okay, it's passed. You could see Ape squeeze out and it could carry AMC with it. You could see a major FOMO event on Ape and if Ape is running, 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 AMC is going to have to stay above it. That could be a big event, right? <clears throat> you could also see Ape run and AMC crash, but I don't think AMC will ever go below Ape, which is funny because we're sitting around a buck 90, which is exactly where we started at three years ago before AMC ran to 20 bucks on uh, uh, January 27th. Um, the other scenario is it passes, Ape goes to 250, AMC goes to 450, it stabilizes right there. Boom, post-conversion, all the algos trip. Adam Aaron announces the capital raise. Suddenly, he's got $4 billion on the table and shorts are covering because they owned Ape, which are now long AMC. So they have shares running in the money that they can use to sell, cover, do whatever they want with after conversion. Still, there's a chance to enter Ape into the arbitrage. For arbitrage, right? You can enter right now if you want, uh, Professor Sifu. I, I'm not telling you to. Me personally, I'm not buying any more right now. Um, I'm great. I'm up, you know, fuck, I think I'm up 20% again right now. And if I was going to buy, I just put today, I put a little money aside just in case the judge comes out and delays um, the conversion again. Say her opinion is, okay, it looks good, but we still have to clear this up and this up, come back to the table and do it. And you see Ape drop to like a buck 40 or 89 cents again, then I would buy. So. If Ape runs past AMC, there is, <clears throat> I don't think it'll happen. It's very unlikely. But there is a potential, if this is given a yes decision by the judge, that AMC crashes to a buck 90. I covered that in a video a long time ago. And Ape literally runs to five bucks. There is a, poten there is a potential like that, right? Um, everybody says that Ape cannot go past amc it's a lie that, that's not correct ape can go wherever it wants it's a preferred stock honestly it should be trading on par even with amc except for the double you know we got 100 percent dilution i uh, say like 85 percent dilution on it after the dividend was issued but the dividend was issued we ran to 1050 then it crashed then adam aaron started selling right so let's just say with a half dilution ape should be able to trade at five bucks so there is a potential my very, very like main wish is that AMC 450, five bucks, Ape 260, potentially Ape three bucks, something like that, and we convert. But there are multiple scenarios that can happen anyway. Nobody's a fortune teller. Anybody saying it can't happen is lying. They don't know that it can't happen. There is a potential where Ape could go past AMC. So I'm not saying it's gonna happen, very unlikely chance, but it could happen. So. Anyways, guys, that's about all I got. Um, Ape can't go above AMC because it's 2X the shares. It can go above AMC. It absolutely can because AMC could be shorted down to a buck 90 on the news of the conversion. Ape doesn't even have to move. Ape could stay at 250 or $1.88 and AMC could be drugged down below a buck 50 because short sellers are absolutely blowing the stock up because they know once the conversion is a go, they know that the common stock is actually worth negative value. They know it's an immediate 30 to 40% dilution on the legacy common shares. Meaning if you bought a share at $10, we reverse split, QSIP change all that. You bought say two shares at $10. Your cost average is going to be a hundred bucks a share, right? 
you're immediately going to open up at 30 to 40 a share, right? So you just lost massive value on your AMC common stock. It's, it's not going to be good. So they will short the living piss out of AMC um, on the conversion news into covering through conversion. So the ape conversion goes, right? So ape converts, short start covering their old shares and their new shares they own long go do, 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 and they run up. And then Adam Aaron goes, oh, cool, I can raise cash now. It's all part of the plan. Adam Aaron, this is allegedly, this is my opinion, sat at the table with the big banks, with the big players, with the big money. He knows all the shorts. He knows the whole game going on. What he did is he sat everybody down and said, hey, look, the bankruptcy plan failed. We're not gonna be able to offload the theater because there's too much equity in the stock. I have a plan. Let's let it run. You guys reopen shorts, make a bunch of money. Retail gets trapped in it. We hype up the theater, make the brand name big. We get these new movies out and then we'll issue these ape units. And we'll go, what's ape units? Well, they're, per, they're, they're units of a preferred stock, right? That we're gonna give to you for free. Then we're gonna sell you some as cheap as possible so that you guys hold all the voting rights. All they're doing is reconsolidating the voting rights into a single base because Adam Aaron knows he'll never be able to pass meaningful corporate action with a retail investor base like this. I mean, so many people own shares that don't even know what's going on with the ape conversion right now because they're dentists and lawyers and doing whatever they want to do. They don't care anymore. My sister owns 200 shares. She has no clue what's going on. No clue. She just tells me, hey, let me know what's going on when I need to know what's going on. She's never voted. She doesn't care. There's so many people like that. Adam Aaron needed to reconsolidate the vote. He needed to be able to pull a quorum so that he could raise cash again. And what they're going to do is they're going to use all the equity wrapped up in the stock, right? They're going to basically take money from retail shareholders via the common stock. That's what they're doing. They are going to use AMC common stock to rebuild the equity into the new AMC common stock that derived from the ape units. And it's going to run, run, run. It's going to make big money and then big institutions are going to control the vote and what they're going to do when they get ready to say, if they want to sell, they are specifically going to sell to individuals and institutions so that AMC is an institutionally owned company again. That's what's going to happen. So not only is he going to raise cash off retail, he is going to put the company back in institutional hands. Then he's going to pay the bondholders off. They're going to come back with all that money and they're going to be able to buy up the company, right? Then they own the vote. Then they can start this whole process over all over again. Say the movie theater uh, writer strike goes on forever. Theaters just don't have any good movies coming out for the next two years because everything is stupid. It's all freaking repeats and remakes and all that stuff. Then AMC is going to run into heavy cash burn again. Their deferred rent and all their debt will be paid off or most of their debt, but they are going to have a cash burn. So once AMC hits 30, 40, 50, whatever your price target is, say it goes to 70, there's a lot of meat on the bone to reshort the company that the bondholders are going to be able to do with free money from the conversion. Now, why am I so pro ape if I know all this, right? Because you're not going to stop it. There's nothing retail is going to do to stop this event. Nothing. All the barracks lawyers don't know what they're talking about. Half of them have not passed the bar. Half of them haven't even finished college. Whatever, you know, fake profile pictures and blah, 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 all that crap. Look, AMC has to raise cash. If they don't, they're going bankrupt and AMC common stockholders are going to lose everything. Shorts are not going to cover if the company's going bankrupt. I don't know whose idea that was. AMC is not going to squeeze if they can't raise cash. AMC is going to get shorted to freaking oblivion after maybe a small initial pump like we saw last Friday because of, you know, buy the rumor, sell the news. Um, but if AMC can't raise cash and they go into these bankruptcy potentials, they're going to short AMC below a buck 90 again. And then the original plans back on the table. So my opinion is, convert the damn shares. Everybody's had time to rebalance. Everybody knows the play. I've explained it step by freaking step to every single person, even if you hate me, but they have to raise cash, convert the damn shares, raise the cash, but be on the right side of the play, which in my opinion for me is ape. Ape converts. My cost average is going to be like 14 to $16 on most of my shares. 
If it opens up at 30, I'm up almost 100%. If it goes 40, 50, 60, 70, I get my squeeze, right? That, that's how I'm playing it. I'm gonna take that money, I'm gonna wait till AMC hits highs, wait till Adam Aaron raises cash, see where it goes. And if I see that there's downside potential, I'm gonna buy some puts and make even more money off of it. And then I'm gonna go do my charities. I'm gonna go do my stuff I do for the orphanage here. I'm gonna help Mark with his charities because the dude gives absolutely wonderful free education nonstop on Twitter to retail investors. There's nobody that is stuck up for retail investors more than Mark Codes. I don't care what anybody says, but anyways, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna kick rocks. I'm gonna go get ready. Um, kid's birthday, so we're gonna go to the mall. She wants some new cons, Converse. I don't even know if they sell those anymore. I'm gonna try to find her some PF flyers. So we're gonna go do birthday stuff. And then my buddy's coming in from Chicago to visit. Um, it's gonna be awesome, good weekend. I hope you all have a good weekend. Again, please like subscribe, none of this financial advice, all that garbage. I just want everybody to make money. Have a good Christmas this year. Do not get caught stocking your play. Yeah, Young Macho, good luck holding everybody accountable. I love Al's spirit. I love his, he's, he's a great entertainer, all that stuff. But nothing any of the big YouTubers has done for the past two and a half years has come to any type of fruition. Absolutely nothing. We're going to be on phase 24 with Bigums before anything he says actually comes true. So good luck to them. Fight for justice. But all I got to say is you're helping delay the conversion. You're helping delay cash um, raising for the company. And you could very much well put this company into bankruptcy and lose everybody all their money. So you guys, good luck with that. I'm going to keep making money. I'm going to keep doing good things. You guys have a great weekend. Froggy Sonic's out.